Well, everybody was interested to see how Sean Pollock would go, and immediately he made his mark in the most dramatic of styles. That's well wide of off stump. World Cup rules in, is the order of the day here. Apart from the fact that in English domestic one-day cricket, there are two runs given for a no ball, so extra penalty for bowlers who overstep that front line. Well, that's certainly seen back off this edge piston pitch. Got the rep hit. Oh, we didn't see much movement like that during the Wheels World Cup in India and Pakistan. Life very different in England. The movement there towards the slips. It's going to be difficult for batsmen in these first few weeks of the season. There hasn't been a lot of warmth, so there hasn't been a lot of growth, but what growth there has been is a little bit patchy, which makes it very hard for the groundsman to get good batting wickets. Trevor Penny in the gully. That's gone up in the air. It's called for by Dominic Osler. It takes the catch comfortably enough, so the first aggressive stroke of the day ends in disaster for Vince Wells. Leicestershire lose their first wicket. They've just got those two leg buys to their name, and they're now two for one. Just with that ball a little bit shorter. And I'm not really sure that uh, that was there to hook or pull, but it was onto him much quicker than he thought. McMillan's got that away well. Be a chase here for Munton. Stops it inside the rope the Ray Bank side of the ground. Three to McMillan, that'll make him feel a bit better. Yes. All movement for Pollock, it nips back. It's a bit of bounce here, Ian, even in April, if you bend your back. It helps if you hit one of those green pads. Looking to leave it. He's been given out. McMillan has to go. Unusual dismissal. McMillan trying to leave the ball. The extra bounce from Pollock was too good for him. Went quite gently to Dermot Reeve at first slip. Took the catch comfortably. Leicestershire now in all types of trouble. McMillan is out for four. Leicestershire two down for nine. Sean Pollock. What a start for him. And what a task now for the new Leicestershire captain, James Whitaker. He's in at number four. 100 in the Benson and Hedges competition and 750s. Bowled him out, first ball. What a start for Sean Pollock. Warwickshire have got their signing just right again. Alan Donald, Brian Lara and now Sean Pollock. Leicestershire are nine for three. Well, this delivery is nipped back. Sean Pollock's been moving the ball around all morning, predominantly back into the right-hander. And this is a good length ball through the gate. It's not the delivery you want first up. But the new Leicestershire captain, James Whittaker, might just have helped it onto the stumps a little bit off the gloves. Sean Pollock is doing a great job for his captain and for his new side, Warwickshire. Three wickets for one run for Sean Pollock. And uh, we can see the end of uh, Gregor McMillan in more controversial circumstances. Uh, no doubt about James Whittaker's dismissal, but what about this, Ian? 
Well, Graham Millen has gone to leave that. He's left it well. Let's come off his arm. See the view the keeper would have had. Quite clearly off the elbow. And when things go wrong, they go wrong in a big way. Well, the ball well taken by Reeve, who didn't in fact appeal. Back pad, there it is, a hat trick. Sean Pollock has done it. That's his fourth wicket. Phil Robinson also goes first ball. Sean Pollock is working the oracle here at Edgbaston. He's picked up all four wickets. Leicestershire, nine for four, and a hat trick for Pollock in the first half hour of the match. Another good delivery, Bob, very similar to the one that got James Whittaker pitched up pretty well, good length. And there's that little bit of bounce and movement back in, inside edge, up to the pad, and a gentle catch for Andy Moles. Terrific delivery, nipping back into the batsman, inside edge, onto the pad. Andy Moles takes it to the catch. Leicestershire's fourth wicket is down, a hat trick to Sean Pollock. Leicestershire nine for four. Well, you talk about dream starts, but uh, Sean Pollock, after a very busy winter, his first winter of international cricket, just a little two-week break for him. South Africa, remember, went off to Sharjah after the World Cup, playing a tournament there, four wickets to his name. Not surprisingly, Darren Maddy taking some deep breaths. Been sitting in his tracksuit trousers about two minutes ago. Off the edge, and that's taken as well. He's gone first ball. That's four in a row. Leicestershire nine for five. Dominic Oster taking the catch in the slips. Sean Pollock can do no wrong. Maddie can go back and put his tracksuit trousers on. He's gone for naught. What a start to this match. Leicestershire. Five down for just nine runs. A little bit of bounce there. Not a great deal of sideways movement, but it's the bounce at the shoulder of the bat. And a very good catch. That third slip. And Oster's second catch of the morning. And that one much more difficult than the first. Darren Maddy a duck. Bill Robinson a duck. James Whittaker a duck, and Vince Wells a duck. Five for one for Sean Pollock. And the next one in the queue is Paul Nixon, the Leicestershire wicketkeeper. Thoughts turned to the lowest ever scores in the competition, which was... Yorkshire, 27 overs and two balls at Headingley in 1991. Leicester should be dreaming about making 50 at the moment. They're stuck at nine for five. And still one ball of Pollock's fourth over to go. And have a look at this fourth over from Sean Pollock. Dot ball first, then wicket, 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 wicket. There's one to go. Ironic cheers from the Warwickshire crowd and then enormous applause for Sean Pollock. What a start for Pollock. Four wickets in his fourth over. He's picked up all five. Quadruple wicket maiden for Sean Pollock. No wonder he's smiling. 